Hello everyone, it's Kat and you're watching Budget with Kat and today I am <clears throat> going to do a budget with me or a check-in for the first, well I don't know, second week of July and um, I may tack on some happy mail or something, I don't know. I, I have so many stacks of things right now. I don't know what's going on. Okay, so hello, welcome. Um, thank you guys for, so I had a few people that were like, where are you, where are you? I haven't heard from you in a while. And yeah, I'm having a hard time getting back into the swing of things. So it's Monday and let's just get it, get it going. And I'm just gonna play it by ear and see what happens. Okay, I hope you guys had a good second week of July. I can't believe today, today is the 17th. There's only two weeks left of July. I don't even know what happened. Do you know what happened? I have no idea. Okay, so let's catch up. Um, my goal sheet is back here. And uh, I have a personal goal of walking about three times a week. And I wanted to tell you something. This first week, I didn't do it. This week, what I wanted you to know is that on Friday, let me see if I can, I need to give myself a big old star or heart or something. Something good's got to happen here. Let me see if I have any um, fun stickers to give myself credit. Yeah, like here's a green star. Oh, well, it looks like this. That's okay. So on the 14th, which was Friday, and the 15th, no. Where did we go? Did we do Friday, Saturday? Yeah, we did. So my husband and I went to the, our land, and... We worked hard. Oh my gracious. We, and the reason why I brought this up is because I have a fitness goal of exercising three times a week. And I'm just telling you right now that I walked earlier this week. I think it was Monday. And then, and so let me put that here. But when we go to the land, we are working. And so we, um, there is a clearing and my lawnmower wasn't working, so I took a weed eater and I weed eated all of the weeds that had grown. It's really dry up there right now. In Texas, it's really hot, so it, just, it wasn't very wet and there wasn't a lot of grass. So I did half of it on the first day and half of it on the second day, so here and here. And, and during that time, when it's like 100 degrees outside, we were in the shade, we were trying to build a bridge. So we have a big uh, pull-behind utility trailer, and on that was some wood, and on that we're trying to start building. And now my husband is not a carpenter. <laughs> he has been planning this for months. And so I was helping him do that, even though we're like deconditioned and out of shape and all of that stuff. So I'll put walk here. So there's three days this week, this past week. Yay. I'm going to count all the hard labor that I did on Friday and Saturday of last week to be like count because Sunday when we got home, we, well, so we came on Saturday night. Sunday, we were, ooh, we were hurting. Okay, so now let's go through um, this little star that I have here. I don't know if you can see it. It was a no-spend day. We were definitely spending money when we were going to the land. And so I did have one no-spend day, which was cool. And I wanted to, what am I using? I guess I could have gotten better organized, huh? I'm using these to keep up with my bills. Where is it? Oh. oh my gracious. Oh well, I'll just use these. So these also come with um, the washi stickers and stuff that I got from um, Life and Envelopes. So there's that. And um, let's go ahead and write down some things that happened. Um, I'll do it in black this time. So on the 6th, two weeks ago, um, a credit card payment went out. This was to Best Buy. Um, I'll go ahead and do it here. This is a 0% interest card. It was $100. And this is 0% interest um, two times over. So by November, I have $1,000 I need to pay off and another thousand by like next May or March. And that was, one was for um, electronics I needed to buy, and the other one was I bought a washer and dryer for Will, my middle son Will, and Sydney when they moved into their apartment a while back. Okay, so there's that. 
on the 6th. And everything else, if you were, if you were, have been following me, most of my bills hit right here because this middle of the month paycheck is when we have any extra. So as I do this, let's see on the 10th, my, I wanted to fill you in on, um, on Will. Let's see on the 10th. This is David's 401k. So um, Will has taken a job in the oil and gas industry. He is not on a rig, but he is in Midland, Texas, which is about eight or nine hours away from us and his wife. And he's going to be doing like a two week on and then a one week home. But he just went out yesterday. So y'all say some prayers for him. Um, this first stint, he's going to be out for three weeks and then home for two weeks. So this is really stressful. You know, it's stressful on their marriage. It's stressful on a young couple. They just um, they just celebrated their two year anniversary on Saturday, Saturday, and then he left on Sunday. Biscuit, hey, stop! Sorry, my dog. If you don't haven't followed me either, I have a little dog named Biscuit, and he licks all the time. It drives me crazy. So he left on Sunday, and so he'll be gone this week, this week, and then the first week of August here, and then um, he'll be home these two weeks, and then he'll go again. And after that, it'll be two weeks out and he'll be home. But as inconvenient as it is, it's also a necessary evil because um, they, uh, my daughter, in law Sydney lost her job and they are struggling financially. Like this paycheck that happens somewhere, I think the first week of August will allow them to pay their rent. I mean, I get your kids leave and they and then you never ever um <laughs> you never ever really stop taking care of them, I think. I'm hoping that one day they can help take care of me, but oh well. Okay, a couple things. So my husband's um uh oh Natural gas. Oh yeah, this is right. So our utilities, we have um, gas heating and gas stove. It's not very much right now, so $50 went up for that. And then I have an easy tag, which is our um, toll road tags. My son Will used it a lot. It's usually about $80 to $100 a month. Um, did I do this wrong? Oh yeah, this is gonna be $100. This should go down quite a bit. So the way this works is I have a I have a debit card on file, and um, when it gets down to about twenty dollars, they charge eighty. So there's always like <clears throat> an overage there. But after they charge it this one time, we should be good for more than a month because we don't really use the toll roads anymore. It's what it was Will that was using them. Okay, so let's see. Was that all? Okay, on the fourteenth, my husband's truck went out, and on the sixteenth, I'll wait for that. So, there we go. So, the truck went out on the 14th. All right. So, we had David's 401k for $100, uh, our gas bill for $50, David's truck for $560, and our easy tag for $100. And then I think we're good till this week. And this week... There's a lot going out. Yep. Okay, so there's that. That is good to go. I'm gonna put this back in here. There we go. All right, pretty short and sweet. Um, I'll be right back. Okay, so I wanted to um, highlight some happy mail that I received. You guys know if you send me happy mail, first of all, I appreciate it so much. Secondly, I'm notorious for not going to my post office office box except for like once a month. So please be patient with me. So this one um, is from Kimberly, I think Joh Johannes or Johannes. Um, thank you so much from St. Cloud, Minnesota. Wow. I have never been to Minnesota. Um, this was sent to me. Oh, the postmark went in May. <laughs> sorry. So sorry. Uh-oh. Can't get it out. I did um, open these up off camera just so that it was easier to get out and now I can't get it out. Oh, look. 
so sweet. It's just a note. Oh, it says stickers. <gasps> okay, got to put some stickers in there. Um, I love watching your videos on YouTube. I love the savings challenges. This is from Kimberly, Steve, Crystal, Tabby the cat, and Prance the cat. <gasps> How sweet. Thank you, Kimberly. Okay, so you know what I'm going to do? Just because. Put some stickers in here. June, July. Look at that. Okay, so there's a cat sticker. Oh, look at those googly eyes. And I love hearts. Okay, I'm putting some stickers on here right now. Let's put one up here. Why not? And I'll put the kitty cat up here too. Because it just makes me laugh. This cat has googly eyes. Have y'all seen any of the TikToks where people go into grocery stores and they take googly eyes and they stick them on products? Oh my God, it's the funniest thing. It is so funny. Okay, donuts. I'm trying to eat better, but I'm not doing a really, really good job. Um, and I am, I don't know whether it's because of, let me see, I'm just gonna put some, I'm just putting stuff here. Um, I don't know, sometimes say, when, some people say that when you get to this part of your life, because I am older, um, that it is possible that you start craving things that you didn't crave before. And I'm not a, I don't crave sweets, you know? Um, I'm gonna put a very special little sticker here on the 20th, because on the 20th, my little, sweet little grandsons are getting their tonsils out, both of them. So. Thursday of this week and I just you know I, I know it's gonna make things better but man we're doing both in one day okay look I have another heart is there anything going on what else is going on in July I think what I'll do is I'm gonna put this big heart over this little heart because if I get paid this day oh you know what I think my husband gets paid on the 31st his very first um, real live retirement check and boy don't you know we need it so my friend from kimberly from st cloud minnesota thank you so much i actually put your sweet little stickers in here love it love it love it and then this beautiful look how this shiny this is this is from melissa in tuscaloosa alabama and oh my goodness look at this Okay, so this is a postcard, and the postcard is made of wood. Do you see that? From Myrtle Beach, South Carolina. <gasps> Wait, is this a challenge? Oh my gosh, look how creative. So it's a wooden um, postcard, and it looks like there are numbers here. 5, 25, 10, 15, 10, 20. Oh my gosh, how cute. Okay, I'm going to add this to this mini savings challenge thingy. Oh my goodness, and another Myrtle Beach. <gasps> a Myrtle Beach scratch off? Okay, done and done, and a sweet note. Let's see what it says. This is from Lifestyle Makes Sense. <gasps> Cute, look at this. Lifestyle Makes Sense, C-E-N-T-S dot com, and the YouTube is Lifestyle Makes Sense. Cute. Just wanted to drop some happy mail your way as part of a do good to others day. I chose you because I love watching your content and your journey. In June, I plan to do a few postcard challenges I created, and hopefully you can join in the fun. It's hard to decide on who to send happy mail to each month, so I allow the computer to choose for me. Oh, cool. As I continue to watch your content, I'll look forward to seeing you reach your financial goals, small and large. Thank you so much. Melissa, so lifestyle makes sense. This is cute. What a great way to use postcards. Okay, I'm a beach girl. I like the mountains, but mm, something about putting your toes in the sand. Okay, Melissa, I hope these are small. Okay, so now I have a couple to add to my arsenal. So thank you so much. Oh my gracious. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Y'all check out um, Melissa at Lifestyle Makes Sense. Tell her that Budget with Cat sent you, and I will try and do some of these. Y'all act like I'm like made of money. I have so many. I have stuff from Yancey Budgets I still need to do. I have stuff from um, Hands and Bands I still need to do. I mean, goodness gracious. Okay, well, that's all for the Happy Mail. Um, I hope you guys have a great week, and I'll talk to you soon. Bye.